Hello everybody, my name is BAMP654328 and welcome back to Monster Train. So last run we did the second, second Hellhorn. Uh, we unlocked the Umbra, completely forgot about that. So, Umbra Stygian, get Stygian up to level 5, why not, let's do it. Umbra work, uh by adding morsels to the deck. We'll, I'll, I'll show you as we go. Don't, don't you worry, I'll guide you. Let's see what artifact we get beforehand. Free magic power. It was the best out of the two. So trample when attacking, excess damage is applied to subs, subs, that word, enemy unit, uh, or summon plus two have this so we can summon more morsel units on the floor so morsel units are uh, no uh, morsel units are smaller units barely any health barely any attack but at the end of their turn they will get uh, absorbed essentially so perfect opportunity here so eater gains plus four so if we put him here he is then going to gain four health do that again. Gonna get rid of him. Gain plus two and a lifesteal. Let's do that, see what we get. More lifesteal is what we love. We end the turn there. Uh, so, Frozen Lance here. See what we draw. Frozen Lance again, perfect. Now we can get this. And then we'll put a train steward up there. Frozen Lance here. Gain more lifesteal. Offering token. Ah, you bugger. I'm, I know I'm not allowed to place units in the pyre, tra pyre chamber, leave me alone. Okay, so we apply a damage shield. Damage shield just means it negates the first hit of damage that our champion will receive. Come on. There you go. Frozen lands him just so we get the boss a bit quicker. And you are dead. We'll do that for the bants. We'll add that. And there we go. Nice and easy. Umbra are one of my favourite uh, classes. But I can never make him work. <laughs> Sacrifice. Or consume. Yeah, we'll get space prism. Get more, more goodness out there. Uh, helical crystal is always fantastic, so we'll go with that. Twenty-eight damage times two. And we need another unit. So, Mosul Master. When you summon a Mosul on this floor, gain a copy of it. We're gonna make him a little bit more tanky. Get him to do a little bit more damage as well. And then next time we get the opportunity to get a unit, uh, we need something that will actually do damage. So. Pop you there you there if it slays we can play two of them and kill him so now double it up and again there we go more damage shield Seeing if we could draw uh, a frozen land or something along those lines, but that's fine. We have five damage. Five damage, five ember. There we go. I guess they're in the end, don't worry. And then we'll pop another steward there. Give you some more damage. 
I've already won, but let's see what we can do. Deal six damage to the boss. More of that. How are you all dying? Put a train steward there as well, just for the bands. There we go, our Morsel Master, Morsel Maker, whatever the bloody hell is called, got the kill there. Lovely. Packed Morsels, so we can get some more on the go. Uh, we'll skip that. Skip that. Gorge game plus two permanently. What? You what? Let's go for that. That sounds fun. Now... Duplicate. We'll go this way. Pick up another Stygian. Frostpite or Incant. Pick up the one that. Uh, uh, so I want him to gain as much health as possible. <coughs> Excuse me. A 50. Do I want to give him 50? You're a sweeper. So let's give you more attack. And remains of once great rail covenant. Later the landscape. One of your rail spikes. Gonna do this and just pop it on a train steward. Just so we can get him out of the deck. Essentially, it's free card removal, but it's useful. More useful. More useful. And we're fighting Talos. And with one sap. And she attacks. Not great, but. Music for this boss fight's great. So I want you at the top. And I need. Put my laptop in because I forgot to do it this morning. Gonna experience a little bit of slowdown just as it catches up. Um, right. Damage shield. Pop you there. If I pop you here, you're gonna take seven damage. Don't know how I feel about that. This makes it all better. So we. Come on. I'm fine with you now taking 15 damage, to be honest. You gain the lifesteal. You gain some damage shield. It's a good time. Alright, now do I want Cold Celia here? You get out of here. More lifesteal for you is great. I'm gonna put Cold Celia here, because... I think it's worth a lot more. And more lifesteal. Okay, here's our Morsel Master. We needed to spend that, unfortunately. Throw a Morsel Master up here. Um. Oh no, we've taken her damage. Runs over. Add some more capacity to that. They're all dying because of sweep. I've got a frozen lansom. So many options. Put a train steward up here. Dying anyway, but gets it out of the deck. more health that's fine by me so now what do we want uh, let's give you more and you're dead anyway get wrecked
and that extra bit of frostbite really helps out. That card art is Sook. Transfer all frostbite on this floor to a unit and then double it. Interesting, if we were going for more of a... More of a... Uh, frostbite build. Another Cold Celia might be fun. But then we would need another tank in front of it. Hmm. I'm gonna skip. And get some more... Energy. There we go. Jesus, I'm being slow as hell today. So, Umbra unit. Yeah. No Morsel Master. Double stack. Two damage shield. It's not worth it for the cost. Actually, what we should do. Pop a consume frozen lance on there. Permafrost is not something I was looking for. Make helical helical, helical crystal a bit cheaper. Do it to another one. And then we're just gonna leave. And we can upgrade our champion. Plus three on this floor. Or gain the trample. But you do end up taking more space. It's more health in the long run. And I think that's what we need. Uh, I'm a 15. Ninety-five, Jesus! No, thank you. There's no shame in not taking the uh, challenge. Set up a nice floor here, and then we're gonna put the muscle master up top. Pop you there. Oh, but God, you can pop up here. Should have put it up there, because there's no there's no benefit of putting them down here. That's fine. You get out of here. So lifesteal. We can only have seven units on a floor at a time. So go to you. Let's do that. More lifesteal is Grand, but now we are full. Shite. Oh well, we can just put them up here. No, we can't because we're out of space up here as well. Bollocks. Well, you're eating good, my train steward friend. Give you a damage shield. More capacity for you. Train steward's popping off. Offering token. Offering token. Helical crystal. There we go. Shade splitter. Shade splitter. So I'm going to put that up there. That there. And you get some more damage. Pop you there. Get out of here. Give you damage shield. How are you still alive? What the hell? This room has reached its floor size. Now he's dying. There we go. Lovely. Void Binding, apply damage shield 2, rage 6, and ember drain 3. Which means we won't have a, any mana for a good bit. Nah. Apply sap. Interesting. 
discard a random card. Ah, oh, let's try it. Let's try it. Might be useful. Merchant of Steel and a Relic. Oh, Relic Shop and some health. Let's go here, get rid of the uh, Train Stewards. Can't believe we didn't play that one. But that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> You're having a giggle. When a card is discarded before the end of your turn, gain one. Because we have Offering Token, I think that's fine. Multi Strike. You're gonna pog off, so let's give it you. And give some more health and damage to you. Hidden Assault, Sneaky Clipped have infiltrated your train. Use spells in higher floors to take him out. So this dude has lifesteal 10 and he's a sweep unit. 5 and you gain 10 armor off of a harvest and you have stealth 1. Let's go for it. Let's try it. Might be the wrong play but if it is, it is. Who cares? I was hoping we'd draw our um, frozen lances, but oh well. So, both first floors at the very least. They lose their stealth, so now they can be attacked. And now you're gonna get minced. Could do with some more capacity. Should have played him. Should have played him. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh God, I've got the sniffles are good and. Oh, I'm not getting sick. Right, um... Helical, go to you. Didn't mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. Go to you. Completely naff that up. Right. Shouldn't have done that because then it's just a waste. I am a fool. A sexy, sexy fool. God damn it. You're dying anyway, so it's whatever. Actually, let's Shade Splitter. More damage or more health. Give the boy more damage. And we're just getting standard ones. Give him some more health. And give you some more health as well. Yeah, I definitely think we need more capacity. You get out of here. Um, damage shield again. Life steal is a must. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Now we can get rid of you. Rose and Lance. This, I'm just playing these because it's going to burn up two of his... No, it's going to burn up one of his life steal, so that's fine. Ooh, -wee. um... Well, bugger. Going to put them in front. It's a sweep unit, bam! It's all on you, my gorger. Oh, always had faith. Always. He's a sweeper, you fucking idiot. I'm just like, oh, I'll just play this. Precious plating. Gain armor? No, gain 40 HP. That's nice. Deal 23 damage to a random enemy unit four times on a slate against two. 
Sounds like fun. Skip them. Okay, where do we want to go next, boys and girls? Hmm. Let's go for the money. And we are going to get rid of our last train station. You will get played, mate, don't worry. Um, get rid of our standard frozen lands? Yeah. Let's make the deck a bit more thin. I like a nice quick deck, so it's no point in upgrading you. So the whole reroll was a waste. I'm an idiot. Archers, Dark Incarnate. So on a rally, he dazes. And then adds a weight to our deck. As always, sorry for the squeaky chair. So we don't want to put anything on this floor at the moment. Go away. Yep. So, get rid of you. Overgore drop top. So you add crap to my deck. That's fine. Helical crystal down here. Cold Celia is perfect. And he takes 60 damage already. Shit. Get rid of you. You know what? You're getting played, Sunshine. Welcome to the <laughs> welcome to the game. And then we'll just give you some more damage. Twenty-three damage with a hope that it hits him. Let's go for it, you little beaut. And then we'll add a damage shield to you. Put that there. So I can't put anything at top because it'll daze all of these units and I can't risk that. So we're gonna give you another damage shield. Get rid of you. Add that to give you another damage shield. I still can't play anything up there, that's that's sad. Um, give you more health and turn take free damage. That's fine. This is the one that adds crap to the deck. Damage shield for you, my good man. Gotta play it, so. Then we get rid of that. Now we can play this. And then Grovel to add the damage shield. Get you way more health. You're done for, son. Why are you doing so little damage? Because he's doing 25 damage. Jesus! No need for it. Extend the turn. I'm a bit worried now. Give you more health. 
but utmost of importance. Put sap on you. Deal some damage. Helical crystal coming in with the clutch. It's going to deal 19 damage to our pyre. That's fine. We need to start doing more damage, lads. That was awful. Um, wretch, return eating units to your hand. Consume, apply trample. Give that. Give that a go. Need more capacity. Okay. We don't need this, so let's just go here. Always go to the caverns first, because it might give you an upgrade to the card that you can then... Actually, either way you do it, it's fine. Um... Because we start with dead weights, this is really good. So let's go with that. Give our units a bit more damage. Just a smidgen more damage. Uh, plus four. And lifesteal two at gorge. Oh, yes. On gorge, now he gains an extra four damage and two health. That's pretty tasty. Remove consume from a card. But it costs one extra, so get rid of that if we re roll then. Make it free again. Now we can constantly have more. Plus six. But for a two. That's actually worth it. And then pop that on our Antlumber. The Shade Wings, winged acquaintances with the power of death, they consume the souls of their victim to heal and grow stronger. Five spikes, I don't F with that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Monster Master, get rid of this. Our champion's dying already. Because they fucking hit so hard. Why? Gonna have to put you down here, my friend. Trample for you. I think it's safe to say our pyre is gonna be taking a lot of damage. How has this gone wrong so quickly? Yeah, fucking hell. Literally, my only unit left is this. What the hell went wrong there? I didn't have enough for back units. So it just minced this one. There is no way we'll be able to do this. Great. Yeah. Wow, that went wrong so quickly. Jesus. Well, that's the importance of... Uh, being able to hit at the back. Making a morsel. Makes a morsel minor. The morsel minor gains 5. Well, when eaten, the eater gains 5 attack, 5 health. Hell yeah, brother. And a shade lamp. First time each turn an enemy unit dies, add 2 morsel units to your hand. Staging guard level up. Siren song. 
Pyre Bound can only be played in the Pyre Room and the floor below it. As long as a unit is dazed, it can, can't attack or use any abilities. Move up a floor and back to that floor. Uh, totem Fragment. Apply Spell Weakness 2 to enemy units when they enter the floor below the Pyre. And we unlocked a new champion, Solgard the Martyr. Ma is that Martyr? Martyr? I say Martyr. Uh, you unlocked the Exile Champion for this clan. You can now choose to start runs with this champion and their starter deck. New personal best, though. <laughs> Once again, I apologise for the sniffling. Um, so, next run. We will be looking at the new Stygian boy. Uh, but what? Go Stygian help hall. I do this because it remembers. So then when I come back to the game, I can just play. Okay, we're doing this. But for now, that is it for this episode. If you did enjoy it, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike. Feel free to subscribe. Uh. Uh, yeah, that that went horribly wrong, horribly quickly. Hmm. I have been Bam, you have been you. Hope you have a great day, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye. Mm,